Introduction to Absolute Value. In today's lesson, students will learn how to solve simple expressions using absolute value. Using what? Very good. So who's heard of absolute value before? Who's heard of it before? The absolute value. We talk about it when we learn about integers, but we're going to go more in depth about absolute value. So let's start with the concept. Absolute value. Well, absolute value is defined as the distance from zero on a, what's this called? What is this? A number line, very good. Okay, so when you think absolute value, you have to think about distance, okay? And distance can be on a number line. So let's talk about it, okay? Now you know on a number line, you have negative to the left and positive to the right, okay? It's the integer song, I could dance all night. So when we talk about absolute value, okay, it no longer matters which direction you're going. It no longer matters which what? Direction you're going. Okay, so let's talk about this. For example, if I want to, if I start at zero and I want to get to three, okay, how many spaces would I move over? How many spaces is it from zero to three? Let's count. I made a purple line. It's one, two, three. Would you say that positive three is three spaces from zero? Yes? Okay. Well, let's say I want to get to negative three. How many spaces from zero would I have to move? Don't tell me which direction. Just tell me how many spaces from zero. Wouldn't I move one, two, three? Yes? Yes. Okay. So the distance you see, is it positive or is it negative? What is it? It's positive, right? Because, I want you to repeat after me. Ready? Say distance. Come on, guys. Really? Say distance is always positive. It's what? It's positive. Think about it like this. Let's just say it takes you three miles to get from your house to school. Okay? So it takes you three miles. And then once you get to school, you have to get picked up, right, to go back home. How long will it take you to get home? Hello? It's still three miles, right? So you would say the total distance would be what? It wouldn't be 3 minus 3, it would be 3 plus 3. So the total distance that your parents would have to drive would be 6 miles. Does that make sense? Just because you go backward does not mean that that is a negative number. Okay, I know we're used to moving back or moving to the left and that being negative. Okay, but now I need you to say that distance is always positive. Okay, so how do we represent this okay well do you see these two lines like this go ahead and make them with your arms like this okay I want you to say absolute value say it with me absolute value well absolute value is distance correct okay so this is the absolute value symbol so we're gonna go ahead and write that now okay we're gonna draw a little arrow pointing to this this is the absolute value symbol. It makes any integer positive. Okay. So when you see an integer in the absolute value symbol, it's going to make it positive, okay? Because there is no such thing as a negative distance. So let's try for example. Are you ready? Okay. 
Let's say we're talking about the integer negative 3. Okay, put the negative 3 in the absolute value symbol. I would ask you then, what is the absolute value of negative 3? What would you tell me? What would you tell me? If the absolute value symbol makes any integer positive, okay, what is negative 3 as a positive number? Okay, what is it? It's positive 3. So I would just write it as 3, and that would be my answer, okay? So I don't want you to think opposite, even though what is the opposite of negative 3? Okay, it is positive 3, but that is not what I'm talking about, okay? I'm talking about if you go backwards distance-wise, 3 steps, that's actually just going 3 steps, right? And 3, since it's distance, is positive. Go ahead and get that down. To remember the concept of absolute value, we created a song called Absolute Value. And it goes like this. We can go up and down, left to right, talking absolute value. The positive, never negative, because it's just the distance from zero. You want to try it? Come on. I know you're not going to sound as good as me, but that's OK. That's why you're here to practice, right? Just kidding. OK, ready? Try and make the movements with me. Remember. We can go up, down, left, or right, because we're talking about what? Absolute value is, what is it? It's distance, so you can go really any direction. Talking absolute value, they're positive, right? The absolute value symbol makes any integer positive because you're, it's just the distance from zero, and distance is always positive. Okay, you ready? Let's go ahead and try it. Ready? Let's go. We can go up and down, left to right, talking absolute value. The positive, never negative, because it's just the distance from zero. And it can go both ways, right? Okay, let's do some examples. Now you're going to be given some absolute value expressions with positive integers and negative integers. What you're going to do is find the absolute value of the integer, which is always what? Absolute vo value is always is it positive or negative? It's always positive, okay? And then you're going to um, verify it on a number line. Okay, so if I ask you, what is the absolute value of negative 4? First, what you could do is find negative 4 on the number line, okay? Find negative 4. Well, we know the negative would be to the left, so it would be negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. Okay, to show the absolute value, I want you to count the spaces from 0 to negative 4. How many spaces is it? It's 1, 2, 3, 4, right? Okay, when we talk about distance, this is really 4 spaces from 0. So what is the absolute value of negative 4? Simply, it is what? It is positive 4. And you don't have to write a positive sign. So go ahead and get that down. So what if I ask you, what is the absolute value of 6? In other words, how many spaces from 0 does it take to get to positive 6? So let's go ahead and make positive 6. You know positive is to the right, so I'm going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so absolute value is just distance. It's so easy if you just listen. The absolute value of 6 is 6 because it's just 6 spaces from 0 on the number line. How did I know that? Well, because I counted. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There are 6 spaces. So what is the absolute value of 6? What is it? It is still 6. So when you take the absolute value of a positive number, it stays positive. When you take the absolute value of a negative number, what happens? It's positive, right? So all of your answers should be positive when you're just looking at the integers in isolation like this. Go ahead and get that down. Okay, so what if I take the absolute value of positive 6 now, and then I add the absolute value of negative 9? Hmm, how do you do this? Well, you have to find the absolute value of each integer first before you add them together. This is telling you to add because there's an addition sign in the middle. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this then. Okay, 
What is the absolute value of 6 from the last example? The absolute value of 6 is 6. It stays the same, right? It's 6 spaces from 0 on the number line. Okay. Now, and we're going to put down the addition sign. What is the absolute value of negative 9? What is the absolute value of negative 9, people? Is it negative 9? It's positive 9, okay? Because distance is always positive. So I'm just going to go ahead and write 9 here. And then the expression simply becomes 6 plus 9. Who knows 6 plus 9? Positive 6 and positive 9. In this situation, same signs, add and keep. They're both positive, right? So just add them together and keep them positive. What is it? 6 plus 9, come on, 6. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. The answer is positive 15. Great job. Write that down, please. Okay, read number four with me. And when I say read it with me, I mean read it with me. Okay, you need to interpret what this is saying to you. What does this say? That doesn't say negativity because that's what you're going to tell me. What does it say? The what? What is this called? What is this called? The absolute value of negative 8 minus, you're going to subtract, the absolute value of negative 9. There it is again, right? Okay. So first you have to find the absolute value of each integer by itself, and then what are you going to do to the integers? You're going to subtract them. So just circle the sign between them so that you remember what to do with the integers when you uh, find the absolute value. So, absolute value of negative 8. What is the absolute value of negative 8? This should be easy now. It makes any number positive. So, what is negative 8 as a positive number? It is positive 8. That is correct. So, we have a positive 8. I'm not going to write the positive. We just assume that it is positive. And I'm going to subtract now. What is the absolute value of negative 9? Make it positive. What is it? Positive 9. Good job. Okay. And then I get this expression, 8 minus 9. Hmm. 8 minus 9. Well, Ms. Cotran, you told me that these were both positive numbers. Are they both positive numbers? Are they? If you're taking away a bigger number from a smaller number, let me tell you, even though this was positive, now it's negative. What? Did I say? Now it's really negative. Okay? So this is saying 8 minus 9. You have to realize that this was positive. And now we're really talking about different signs, aren't we? Yes? You know you're subtracting. Different signs subtract. Keep the sign of the higher number, right? Then you'll be exact. So you're really doing now 9 minus 8. But the bigger number is negative, right? That's the bigger number. What's the answer? What is 8 take away 9? For example, if I'm on positive 8 on the number line and I move over to the left 9 spaces to start at 8, and take away 8, you get to 0, take away 1 more, you're at what? Negative what? You're at negative 1. That's right. I know that's super confusing, but you have to remember the integer song and the rules for integers, even when you're working with absolute value uh, expressions.